Hey, what's up everybody? This is Tony. I have to lose weight. This is my vlog and it's the Wednesday workout. I just saw lightning. I'm at the Anderson Snow Park in Spring Hill, Florida and like every day at 3 p.m. where I live, it looks like the sky's about to open and pour down. But look, the camera's waterproof, I'm waterproof and we gotta give Okay, that's thunder, but we gotta get walking. 15, 20 minutes, let's try to walk a little bit. They say there's walking trails here. It looks like a sports park, but let's walk here at Anderson Snow. All right, I do not know how windy it is in the camera, so I apologize. Uh, I may just put music over all of this if it's super windy, but here we go. This again is the Anderson Snow Sports Complex. And uh, I'm assuming this is a walking trail that I'm on. I would imagine that during different times, this would be a spot where you might see the Little League baseball or soccer. Ooh, I'm concerned with the wind. Might have to voice this over at home. And the thunder rolls. Holy moly. Listen to those thunderclaps. It's good to be back walking. There's still a decent sized callus in the back of my heel where I blistered it up two weeks ago, but I got it wrapped up and extra socks. I'm getting this walk on. It's so weird to see places like this basically empty. I don't know if it's empty because it's the time of day or time of year, or has anything to do with the world. Definitely brings back memories though. I was a little league baseball player. I was a catcher. I played little league in the 1980s. I lived in Indianapolis, Indiana during the 70s when the Cincinnati Reds were the hottest team in the land. And I, uh, big fan of Johnny Bench. So I wanted to be a catcher. So during my little league and pony league days, I was a catcher. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna rain for sure. I don't know, man. But a lot of baseball fields out here. There's a walking trail over there. Let's go up hill. So. But yeah, it looks like the trail may end over here. Hmm. I could be in the wrong park. I did not verify. I don't see that. It doesn't seem like we have a walking trail. <clears throat> starting to sprinkle a bit. We're off road now. So how are you guys doing with your weight loss journey? I'm down 20 pounds. I feel pretty proud about that, but I'm still not small enough to fly on airplanes comfortably and go to theme parks. So still some work to do. The question is, is this going to open up and become a deluge? I don't know. I don't know what stretch of road this is. I think there's a toll road that runs through Spring Hill called the Sun Coast Highway. Like, I don't think that's like legit Interstate 75 or anything like that. Now let's just keep walking, we'll go deep. I would like those sunny skies over there to move over here, and these dark skies to move away. Doing some all-terrain walking out here. That's pretty flat. 
grass is mowed. Not bad. Ominous guys. So when I was around, I don't know, maybe 2018, right when we first started cruising, if you watch the other channel, the Cruise Vlog channel, I weighed a little bit over 300 pounds. I was almost dipping into the 290s. And what got me there was just a commitment to walk 10,000 steps a day. But man, when you're heavy, it's hard to get to that. What I was doing then is I worked for, I was doing consulting work for a large bank in uh, Charlotte. And they had a huge work area, a work center. It's the, it was like the largest campus, single campus outside the Pentagon. And uh, I could walk 5,000 steps. If I got up at my cubicle and walked to the end of one of the halls in the building that I was working, 5,000 steps. And so every day for lunch, instead of taking a lunch, I would walk, well, up and back was 5,000 steps. I would walk that, and so I would do that twice a day, and it was pretty easy to get the steps in. But now, just being at home, it's a lot harder. It's a lot harder to get creative and find places to walk, especially in the heat of the day. Uh, that's why I'm not really hating on this rain right now, because it's not as hot. I said it was 91 when I got in the car, but it could have just been car heat. So maybe we're dealing with some 80s. Strong breeze here, though. How are we doing? Six minutes and 32 seconds into this walk. Is your heart rate getting up? Who's on the treadmill? Leave a comment. Anybody on the rowing machine? Leave a comment. Are you sitting on the couch eating White Castle? Leave a comment. It's not a bad exercise. See how many of those White Castles you can fit in a bag? Or in your gullet? I love White Castles, to be honest. I just was looking for a reason to use the word gullet. What, a, what do you think this little alcove's for? Let's take a look. What would you do with this? They got power. Maybe it's a grilling station. Maybe people could bring a grill out here. I don't know. Just a look at the uh, old Anderson snow. Hopefully, I haven't considered whether or not the lens is getting rained over. Let me look on the phone here. I can see the lens. Yeah, it looks like we're still getting video, so, so far so good. Hey, there's the TV screen, or the remote screen on the phone. All right, well, I don't know if this sidewalk goes anywhere, but the last one did not. I'm no Gene Kelly, so I'm not singing in the rain, but I'm definitely walking in the rain. Big news on the Instapot front. We actually opened the Instapot and Jenny is working on making one hour Italian beef. I don't know what that's all about, but I saw some onions being sauteed and some pepperoncinis and nice cut of beef going into the Instant Pot. She said that in one hour, it will be legit. Stay to the end. I'll include a little bit of what that looks like. What do we got here? A little playground area. More fields that way, but I don't see any, any place to walk around. I would just do that loop again. A little bit of a different view. Thirty-two 
thunder seems to be moving away, which is good. Thunder is normally accompanied by lightning, but I've not seen any lightning in the sky, so I'm gonna keep walking. Thanks everybody for the encouraging comments on the weigh-in videos. To be honest, most days I don't feel like thinking about this. Uh, I just want to do the things that I do. And, uh, but this is one of those things you got to think about in life. I just wish that I always had the habit of exercising. Like I look at young people, they're like, oh, I got to, like my, our son Greg, when he came home for the summer every day, he's like, oh, I got to go take a walk for an hour. I got to jog around a bit. And I'm proud of him because he's very conscious of it at his age. He probably looks at us like as some sort of negative example. And uh, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with the, our challenges, maybe motivating him to not have the same challenges. And, uh, but he's doing good. And so I guess it's just a matter of forming that habit and probably, you know, talking about, oh, I don't wanna do this is probably not the best way to establish that habit. So uh, let me just self-correct right here. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to be out walking. Uh, there's, yeah, it's, I mean, it's, I couldn't imagine people that are challenged with mobility, they don't have this opportunity. And so I should be grateful, no matter how challenging it is, to get out here and get some steps because not everybody is as fortunate. Let's walk down this way. We'll walk around this baseball field. It almost looks like there's a path over here. Whew. the men's room over here. I think the water fountain, well, I don't want to touch anything, but you would think the water fountains would be turned off considering the times. It does look like this this little road goes out further. What are we at? 12 minutes. All right, let's get to a point where it'll be about five or six minutes back to the car. We'll walk out this way a little bit. Thank you guys for walking along. All right, real question time. What's your biggest challenge this week? What, what do you feel like is holding you back from making good food choices or from being a little more healthy? Leave a comment. Let's uh, jump down there and support each other. You guys, I mean, I'm sure you're recognizing it by now. Just through the few weeks that we've had this channel up, uh, I see a lot of people encouraging each other in the Facebook group and in the comments of these videos. and. I think community is the secret sauce, especially in a world where it's easy to be disconnected while being connected at the same time. Finding those things that you can connect with other people on uh, is helpful. And uh, you know, you just don't know what your words of encouragement might mean to a stranger. You may never know. So it's, uh, if you got a couple minutes, find somebody in the comments or on the Facebook group and lay some encouragement on them, uh, it'll, it'll make the world a difference. And again, you may not even know. All right, so this is called the trailhead. All right, so this might be a big walking deal. Wow, this looks long. Where does this go? Wow, well, where does it come from? Hmm. So maybe where we parked is the trailhead. But yeah, it's uh, some distance there. All right, I think this will give us some place to walk another time. What are we at? 14 minutes. How you guys doing? You getting it done? 
we've walked uh, just about over half a mile, 0.6 miles. It's not bad. It's not a marathon. Well, I guess the journey's a marathon, right? Not a sprint. We don't have anywhere to be. We're just trying to get some steps in, get our heart rate up a little bit. It's nice, the uh, thunder has started to slide on out of here. Mm. Nothing to it but to do it, kids. We all have our own reasons. Take one of your reasons, write it on a piece of paper, stick it on your refrigerator. Every time you go for that not good food, remind yourself why well, you gotta make a better choice. Try to stay healthy for your family. You wanna get on a roller coaster. You wanna fly to a foreign country. You wanna sleep better. You wanna breathe better. You wanna have a better connection with your spouse. All those reasons are valid. Put them on the list. Put one on your refrigerator. Comment below if you wanna, if you want some encouragement. Why are you doing this? Why does this make a difference to you? I feel pretty good. My breathing's not horrible today, right? Ooh, I don't know, the thunder says maybe it is. I think so. I can't remember who in the comments gave me the tip to breathe in through my nose, out through my mouth. It's made the difference. Sun Coast Trail. I wonder if it tells how long it is. I guess it's a bike trail. You have to wear a helmet if uh, you're 16 or under 16. Hmm. I haven't had a bike in a long time. I do like to ride a bike though. I can see it though. You could ride just straight up through here and all the way to that trailhead. Well, you know, it's not probably the prettiest place that we've walked, but it's a nice wide open space and got to see some stuff that we'd never seen. Another look at the small town life here in Florida. Lots of people out and about. Not a lot of people at the park though. Seventeen minutes and eight seconds. The final push. Three more minutes. Let's get to twenty. The end zone is in sight. Might be the perfect time to head back to the house. Wouldn't mind getting in the pool, but again, every day about this time, the uh, weather has been rough. Anderson Snow Sports Complex. The road here is Anderson Snow. see it all right 18 minutes and 42 seconds oh, we can't go right to the car yet gotta hit that 20 minutes let's see if we can walk through the through the valley here without falling down back toward the bridge let's get that one more minute in you got one more minute in you Whew. yeah it's been uh, you know look the weather looked pretty ominous, but the sky did not open up. And so that made this walk a little more tolerable than one of those straight up hot walks. So I'm excited about that. 
Ooh. All right, 30 more seconds. Got to walk in. Let me show you some pictures of the Italian beef. I love when this thing to us. Oh, let's see. Mmm. Is that pork tender? Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that. Wow. That looks so good. Ooh. Wow, legit Italian beef. Man, I hope you had a good walk today. I had a good one. Uh, thank you guys so much. Leave a comment below on how you're doing. My name's Tony. I have to lose weight. This is my blog, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.